Hi, I'm Neil Savage. I'm a freelance writer. Uh, you can find things I write at neilsavage.com. Um, so I went to a session on, it was called Data to Knowledge to Action, that talked about the things we can do with all the data we're accumulating and how uh, they can be used, hopefully, in ways to help us. And one part of it was about um, taking the diagnostic codes and things like that that hospitals just naturally generate and seeing if you could apply an algorithm to uh, figure out things like which patients are most likely to, to be readmitted, which uh, actually one thing they had that I thought was interesting was uh, um, not just to figure out the things that are likely to, to happen that doctors would think of, but what might surprise you. The, the program would say to the doctor, this might surprise you with this patient, which I thought was kind of neat. Another was... Um, about autonomous vehicles, cars that drive themselves, and uh, trying to control traffic flow by just measuring where people are, where these cars are, because they're not human driven, they're autonomous, uh, where they are, what they're doing at a given time, so you can switch, like you can open lanes or change the direction of lanes to make traffic flow more smoothly. Uh, and the third thing was uh, when we was talking about uh, using cell phones and the things you can do because a, a cell phone is not a phone it's a computer with all these sensors an accelerometer a GPS device a camera a microphone and so there are apps people are developing like the the weight loss apps and, and things like that but um, because there isn't this isn't all accumulated in one place she was arguing that you can take these individual apps and make it sort of a personalized um, data collection device and do it something that will benefit you as sort of a way to, as we move toward that, and of course that brings up issues of privacy. And uh, her argument, if I'm getting it right, was that because a lot of these apps are health related and because there's, uh, there are laws about health privacy, that maybe that's a way to kind of uh, ramp up the conversation to make sure uh, that we're doing more with privacy, because she was arguing that uh, a lot of these, for, from a business perspective, when these companies want to, um, when they have their long terms of service thing, from, it makes sense from their point of view to just throw on everything they can, that they'll, you agree to give us this and that and the other thing. Um, and she thinks we have to talk about that more and have to make privacy stronger, but in a way that lets us uh, actually make use of this data because if you put it all together it can it can really do some interesting things